Like we scared or something. Scared or something. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, man. Let's go. Give it to me. I knew it! Tick tock! Let's go! We on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we on Talk. Let's go. It's a unique hustle. Big shit. Big shit? Big shit? Big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know my dad was Man, on. guess what, man? Guess what happened today, man? Guess what? The wind blew in, man. <laughs> check it, man. Hey, man, we got some young ladies here today, y'all. We do, what did we call it last time? Spotlight? Spotlight. Man, we got Shedding another spotlight. spotlight, man, where these two young ladies are working it out on TikTok, man, and on Facebook, on YouTube now, mm -hmm. on Instagram. You can find them anywhere. The earth is day turf, man. That's it. That's Check it. it, man. We got a young lady here by the name of Renee yes. and Kiana, man. Yes. It's going down, man. What's up? And, and, and they call them, what they call them? They're not sisters. They're mother and daughter duo. Mother and daughter duo, man. Underscore. T Underscore TX. Is Texas. how you get to them. For Texas. Yes. For yes. Texas. Because okay. I guarantee you, everybody be mistaking y'all for sisters. They look at that. And I'll, I'll take that. Like, Beautiful. How old, that. Like, how old were you when you had her? 13, 10? Yeah, she was. Like, 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 dang. Yeah, 18. <laughs> I was 18. Mama was getting <laughs> to the <laughs> business. Early on, she jumped off the porch. That's it. Are you rotten. serious? Yes. But it's flipped now. Spoil rot. I, I knew was. you was an only child. I could tell How because could of the tell? way that you carried yourself. Like you carry yourself different. Like when you come in, you can tell that something just a little bit different because of. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Okay. This <laughs> nigga is spoiled, <small>, y'all. <laughs> Now, so how did you guys first start out, like, say, man, we're going to start getting on TikTok and doing this whole, you know, the whole, you know, everybody doing it. Y'all got one move that y'all do? And how long y'all been doing this? Transitions. It's it be going in. Transitions for us. Transitions. So how did, how did y'all get into How long ago it? did you start? Literally, we've only been doing it for about four or five about months. four or five months. But yeah. we start hitting. So, like, we're at 76,000 now on that's there. A, that's a lot. That's but, a lot. And we, it was her idea, my mom. She's the social media queen. I'm not. And I'm normally not it's the younger person right. who would be like, come on, mom, let's do this, let's do that. That, but she's the opposite. So she's more hip than you. She is. <laughs> I love it. I'm looking like, okay, scrolling through TikTok. I'm like, oh, we gotta try that. We gotta try that. Mm -hmm. And then we did a transition and like the likes and the comments and everyone like, I, I love y'all's relationship. I love and I was like, hey, let's do that. I so we're known her. for the transition. Yeah, I told mm -hmm. her. We, we have some people, of course, that are like, stop competing with each other. And I'm like, like it's that, my daughter. that's an ignorant statement. Right. Yeah. This is my competing. mom. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is my best friend. Yeah. So, but I don't really hang around people. Like I'm not, I'm very anti. Mm. I'm, I'm trying to get out of that. So that's a big thing. <laughs> but with transitions, cause I'll be on there and I'll be seeing people creating different ways of how to do transition. I'm like, ooh, that's dope. Mm -hmm. Like, ooh, I gotta try that. Do y'all be coming up with your own transitions that you don't see nowhere else, but you just create something different? There's been some I have. Um, some of them I'll say, we, one that I think we really, really hit on a trash bag. We do add in. But first. that was something that we saw another lady do. Okay. And she just like did a trash bag turn into an outfit. Oh. She had a white one. So I yeah. said, no, let me get some black ones because uh -huh. she was a white lady. So we did And black. nothing, nothing with No, that, no, no, I'm not. just saying that was yeah. a big thing. So, but a lot of them are original because I'm like, hey, let's just let's try it. Let's throw this in. Let's throw it at the camera and then we'll come back. And, and I love to walk. So we did one walking down a park a lot. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, hey, I'm like, hey. Yeah, she so, you know, it. it's juicing me up. Then my head got really big. I was like, girl, come on, let's get some yeah, more. Yes. Yes. So you guys originally from? From Oklahoma, Oklahoma okay. City. And, city. And, and you guys. That's a country or a city? Oklahoma City. It's a little city. It I know is. Oklahoma. But it's still country. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's country. country. It's, it's, very country. Country. it's absolutely country. We yeah. came, I have horses. I compete. Like, I play basketball. When yeah, I say country. We're country. I, you know what? <laughs> yeah. We're, you're so looking at us, you can't tell. I'm not going to I'm not gonna play games with this woman on here. The one, Kiana, say she ride horses. And, I do. Yes, definitely. But, uh, I do. I, I can look at her legs and tell she ain't been on no. You're a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, them basketball scars on them legs, baby. Yeah. So, so how, well, what got you in the horse ride? Um, really, our family's always been country, mm -hmm. and then her, she, her ex husband. Lord, okay. Josh, you done bought up. Um, <laughs> her ex husband, so her ex husband, your dad. Ex no, no, no. My dad, um, honestly, was never really in my life like that at so, all. And he's, no, but you not, know him. I know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're now we were like doing a. Building we didn't really start building until I was grown. 
And okay. now he just messed that up again. So Did you feel like that. something was missing when you were growing up, not no. having your dad there? She made up for it to the T. So, like, he would come sometimes and get me, but I never really had that. He was closer with his boys, and I'm the oldest and only girl, mm-hmm. but he was closest with his boys. So, he ne- he never came to a basketball game. I was all state, all city, went li- literally nothing. And he played basketball, so that was the crazy part. Mm-hmm. But um, my brother was more of um, a. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and but she made up for it because you know. Because wait hold a minute, on. let me oh. ask her something. Did you and when did you look up in the stands and he wasn't there and you was like hurt? Hell no! <laughs> That's I the mean, mo- on the movies they do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I never that expect a lot. That happens. I never expect a lot. Yeah, you know you missed yeah. miss that the thing, shot. Because the thing I think about, the thing I always look for her though. For sure, oh, you look for her. Like, yeah. She was your support. She was your support. Before the tip, I'm like, I gotta get there. I gotta get That's there. That's low. Well, the thing I think about for a father, especially with a little girl, is for the man showing the girl how to be treated, how a man should treat a woman, because not. Not every woman go through this, but I always feel like, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, I always feel like if you're a young girl growing up, don't have a man in your life, that's why a lot of these girls or women end up in wrong relationships. Oh, they're looking, they're looking, they're for, looking for that uh-huh. father, they're looking for that companion, they're looking for, you know what I mean? That it, was a fear of mine. Well, that's what her. actually Definitely. happened with yeah. me. Okay. I ended up in a horrible, like, situationship. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because, and I don't want to blame it on him. Because, I mean, I always take the blame for what I go through. So I feel like you should have got out of this shit. Why'd you stay in it? Mm -hmm. So that I blame on me. But I do feel like back then, those were the type of men that I would date because of him. And now you can't pay me. Like, I'm like, if you anything like my daddy, I don't want it. (laughs) But how did you fix that, though? Going through. Like, I actually went through a three-year situationship. I'm Were you married? Pilot. I was not married. I've never been married. Kids? Um, no, I don't have any kids. Okay. Um, I honestly don't feel like I've ever been in a relationship because high school, I mean, that doesn't count to me. Right. Like, so, um, but the situationship that I was in, um, it took me a long time to get out of it. Like, it was like, you know this is not good for you. So, I wouldn't even tell my mom, and that's my best friend. She knew nothing of certain things that I was going through. Because abuse? Why? N- not abuse, uh, m- a lot of mental. It was like a lot of mental, um, heartbreaking situation. It was like my first love. And I didn't tell her stuff because... Why tell somebody when you're not ready to get out of and it? And plus, of course, I didn't agree with the situation. Exactly. And, yeah. and anyway, you were, you already was being, you know, kind of disconnected from because of the relationship y'all already had. You look jealous because she had something else going on. But let, let, me, let me first start off by saying, let me stop her right there and let me get back with you here. You know, mental illness, you guys have... Yeah, yeah, just pretty much. Up. No, just pretty much prettied up an argument. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's an argument. Well, that's mental argument. illness. Because it's mental. It's, it's mental right. illness. It's I an agree. argument, and people have taken that and they take this word and they say, "Now we gonna call an argument mental illness." So it's on the next stage. Let me be real with y'all for a minute. There's gonna be challenges in life. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to pull your uh, big girl uh, draws up. Mm-hmm and deal with these situations with the knucklehead boys. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? You tell me and now. A lot the, me yeah, because it's a lot of them that's going to be dysfunctional because of the background of what we and oh, others absolutely. have come from. Mm-hmm. But our people have went through a lot. So mm-hmm. we have to figure out ways to strategize to be better. And and if it take a divorce or something, that's cool. If it take a breakup, that's cool. But let's keep going with what we got to go with to try to don't give up on everybody right. because everybody's not the same. Oh, right. exactly. Exactly. But don't continue special. to go back to what they ain't nobody told you to go back. <laughs> no, but, 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 but when you talk about mental back. illness, though, but when you talk about... Say go back. Back. Hold on. You know, I ain't said nothing about go back. I said keep going. Didn't I, I she said, said, but you ain't got to go the back. the pattern, the pattern, the pattern is what I she's talking about. I just told you to find somebody better. You're right. Didn't I say that? That's where mental illness comes in. You know what? Mr. Uh, be me and you in a second. But that's where the mental illness comes in. I'm on your side, nigga, and I don't care. I don't believe you on my side. Exactly. But that's, hold on, but hold on. That's where the mental illness mm-hmm. comes in because, yes, there's a reason why you keep going into these certain type of relationships and you have to take time out not being in a relationship and reevaluate you Yourself. because exactly. at the same time, you can always still blame that person. Oh, they were crazy. Exactly. They were this, they were that. But there's a reason why you keep, so you have to stop and be mm-hmm. like, okay, let me look at my mama. Right. Let yeah. me look at the type of relationship mm-hmm. she was in and as much as she didn't verbally tell me anything, I was observing and I just end up falling in the same path pattern and do you ever feel like it might be your fault the certain things that she was Choosing going through her her dad would be because she hasn't seen me yeah i haven't there's i have, I have been single and it a lot of that has been because of i didn't want her 
to experience certain things. It's like, okay, with my child, and everybody who knows me knows this is my heart. Like, mm-hmm. it's either her or you can, you know. But with her, her dad, it's like I didn't, I wasn't the mom to put him down. She never so did. So those things she had to learn. I wanted to, Lord knows, but those are things she had to learn because I didn't. I was a young mom, so I didn't want to be putting him down and kicking him and kicking him. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to keep it 100 yeah, with her. <laughs> yeah, because she's older. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> if he come in the picture with some stuff, like, he full of shit. Today, you're going to let that go, or I'm getting yeah. ready to call this nigga. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I just, I've, I've been single. Like, I got married, and Lord Jesus, that was a divorce. And that was only a year. <laughs> but she didn't, the I things that I it. experienced... She didn't Mm-mm. know any of that. That's where I kept it. I didn't want my child to see what I was experiencing, so she didn't. She was happy with my ex. Like, she knew none of that. I knew that. that she didn't look like the mom I'm used to seeing. Like, she start, you could tell she was stressed out, like losing weight and stuff like that. Um, but that's all I saw when it came to that. I, I can honestly say I've never seen, it's never been a man in and out. Mm-hmm. She's never done that. So mm-hmm. that's why I don't blame her for it. I blame myself. For well, man, I still blame her. And I mean, you going to let me talk and about and it. I let only, you only have take one over child this show. because that I ain't okay. Well, let me finish. Let okay. me tell you why. Because I didn't want, because her dad was not there, I didn't want to have another child by someone else and then he's there their dad is there that would have been so hurtful for her to be like okay well why is my dad not because not everybody's like russell so, wilson right. well here here's the deal <laughs> you know, you'll never know you'll right, never exactly. know because you didn't you didn't, you didn't challenge that the but that was i was but young it, and that was a fear of mine and i get it and fear sometimes is a false belief Definitely. but at the end of the day you got to understand that the main thing i keep hearing is people who going through stuff but we got to synergize it with God. Absolutely. That's the most Definitely. important Absolutely. thing because we try to figure these things out mm-hmm. and, and we be bumping and moving mm-hmm. and grooving mm-hmm. and we can't really, really understand what's going on. But like you being single, that's a cool thing to shelter her. But it also is a thing to where she's not getting to ex- see those experiences in life with somebody being with a mate. Well, no, I, 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 no, I, I, I mean, no, me, she was, there me, was a, a friend, a boyfriend. Oh, you had yeah, a guy yeah, coming had, over no, there. No, let's no, get to I was it. wasn't married. No, yeah. and I was with him. And so yeah, it's and years. Yeah, I, I loved yeah. him. And he was Definitely. at the house. Did he come? What time? <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying. He was a great person. <laughs> Did he, he come in at the five? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We, we stayed together. It was oh, a, a relationship. Yeah, yeah shacking, shacking, shacking. Shacking. Okay, let's talk about that shacking now. Don't play me. Don't the church on every Sunday. Don't do that. My baby was raised in a church. Look, I'm one of them mama. She was raised in a church. Say, man, listen, man. I think there's no perfect uh, family out here, no right, matter how exactly. you see it, because there's no perfect people out here. Right. I think a lot of times we're able to hide things a little better in instances, but there's still things going on, there's still that big yellow elephant in the room. Mm-hmm. So all that hiding it, you might look at a family, oh, they look nice. You can have the father, the mother, yeah. and the kids, and they go through pretty hell. So much. So you just Agreed. can't get up here and act as if uh, everybody's doing so well. You guys have challenges. We've been oh, together 20 definitely. years, and we could tell y'all some stories to say, no, I'll be glad I that I didn't get married. I don't you know imagine. I, mean? I, I thought that same thing when I first met you. When I met you, I knew you that something. You hear that? Says the people who've been over there by themselves for like th- <laughs> who, what? what? You see, shacking and everything. Shacking. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You gonna try it? No, I ain't Your mama did it. Do you want to get married? married? Yeah. 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 You know what I did? I do eventually. Ain't nothing wrong with I being do. free. I do eventually. Do you want kids? I do eventually. Okay. How well, I got 31, so I probably better Don't wait. Yeah, yeah. Well, you need let, to get cracking. Hey, Come on. R.I.P. Right, right, to Kevin Sam. Let me get you. And y'all are beautiful young ladies. For Kevin. Let me go ahead. So how old are you? We know how he's talking about 31. How tall are you? 5'8". 5'8". What size do you wear? Small. What's up? Small. Uh, what well, depend on what you're asking? Yeah, no, like, like on your dress size. Small. Small. Okay. Slim thick, baby. There it Slim is. thick. That's what it is. Oh, and really? I work out now. You, you work out now. Where, try- where do you work? You don't need no high value, man. You ain't ready for that. What did you Shabby. try to be? <laughs> Y'all never watch Kevin Samuel. Oh, they know him. Yes. Oh, they know him. Mm-hmm. He got no R. R. That's what he's trying to pull. That's what he's trying to pull. You know that. He don't like that. R.I.P. to Kevin. R.I.P. to Kevin. But listen, if CD is listening. Baby, I'm Put here. it out there. <laughs> so, do you do you really like like do you, do you see yourself getting you know you've been through a, a a hell of a relationship where you had to go through a divorce after being married just a year? Mm-hmm. Do you think you'll be uh, going back down that road anytime soon? No time soon. I mean, I'm definitely open for relationships. Um, it's kind of like you said. We although I do feel I don't feel that I'm the blame of some things, but sheltering her, I did. 
Because I'm like, yeah, you know, you don't want her to get hurt. If I get one phone call from school that she didn't got cut or she didn't fail, I'm out. You know, I was a young mom. So there are things that I wish that I could have done differently. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, she's beautiful and it is what it is. You know, we're going to keep going. Like you said, we're not going to hide anything. Um, you shacking talking about up, a relationship. Shacking up ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? Depending on who I'm shacking with. Yeah, a little shacker. Yeah, a little shacker. <laughs> but um, I, I'm definitely open. I don't know about marriage. So honestly. you have commitment issues, as in like to to jump over the brooms and say, hey, okay, let's go ahead and get married. Would you get married again? No. See, I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't, right now, I, no, let I me don't tell you something. It. No, We're I don't see it. We're forever evolving. She yeah, say that now, it. but you never know. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. definitely. You never right. know. God I'll, has I'll a way. That. God has a way of changing you definitely. as you grow. I'll tell her. And, and it I will be God. Time, definitely, yeah, he because, will heal you. Well, a lot of times, people we look at one situation and we we just in a phase of life. Right. Not so as we grow and go, things tend to change. I love this. Our intellect and everything. Oh, I love else. it. Well, you yes. ain't talking this God fearing man. This, this man. Now right I see why you married him, sister, because this God fearing man right here is everything today. You know, one thing. Y'all crazy. Y'all think I'm gonna do well. Do this. <laughs> Do this right here. Yeah. here. No, uh, no, it's, no, it's it's definitely a, uh, you would be amazed at some of the things that go watch the show. You'll see some crazy yeah, episodes. Will. He goes from, just like exactly. what you just saw. He go from this yeah, extreme to that yeah, because you nobody's know. perfect, and oh, you have to have balance. Exactly. You have to because so many people who are holier than thou, they try to be so holier yeah, than thou up here, so and not so whenever, so whenever, so whenever you flip mm -hmm. because you're a human being, everybody look at you like. You know what I right. mean, but that—that's not reality. No. You gotta have that balance. Be that way every day. I yeah. have to say, I have to have a goofy man. Yeah, like I have to have somebody wow. I can be How, like have fun. Because you goofy as hell. That right, exactly. So goofy and goofy just go together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What? I would be because you want to laugh like, every day. Yes. Yeah. Like, you want to enjoy. Just like, enjoy. You know, you, know, you guys, you guys are gonna do great. With, with God's gonna, you know, you know, He's so, gonna find y'all gonna find somebody. You gonna oh, wait a minute. Find, you, know, you, say, 31, you, you, you thirty one. You thirty one. Yeah. I just shot it. I said, yeah, like I'm looking. I ain't just looking. It'll happen. But I'm sure you get them twenty four seven. Keep doing those skits. You gonna skit your one right on into it. But I'm I'm curious. So oh, on your skits, no in your so on your TikTok, what kind of skit with mother and daughter? Like what you do transition, but do you actually let people into your life and let people in on who y'all are? Like talk to your audience and do? Are you just we do your, haven't? You need and to that's do something that. we have to. Start. I told her that. Let me say a uh, shout out to comedian Jesse McDonald because yes, I love him so my much. My family. And and he, he's the one. <laughs> 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 he's the one that said he reached out to us and was like, hey. Like, I mean, let, we need let's to do a skit. Mm -hmm. And then although we were not in the same location, he's like, let's do it over FaceTime. Mm -hmm. And he's the one that got us into, like, okay, now we got to do skits. We need to do skits. So that is what we're well, working on. And, and we can't wait to work with you as well. Yes, this is a whole absolutely. different world that we live in. And it's a new and growing world. And we educate each other. We, we conference calls. We, we do things to understand the algorithms at night. We be on yeah. calls all the time. Absolutely. This is a world where you have you to have educate to do that. one another. Well, to. it's called the mastermind concept. Yes, yeah, so we'll learn things from you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll learn things from each other. And That's it's all about the energy. Absolutely. I have to have the energy. And when I walked in, I love your energy. Now, I just started Thank liking you. yours just now <laughs> when you put God in. Baby, I always had you. Let me just let me get let me get let me get let me get in there one time. <laughs> now you know one thing about it. Sometimes you know those that have eyes to see, let them see. You know you can't see my vision sometimes. Come on now. And, and I'm not going to let you slow me down by on. looking at you trying Come to see on, my man. vision. Come you on. know what I'm saying? Is that you real? Say that. So I can't focus on you seeing what I'm seeing. Say I got to focus on what I'm seeing. No, it's the truth. Because so all of us should be. Wait, wait a minute, baby. When you speak and you preach, you preaching. That's tradition that you're messing with right Teach there. Me <laughs> That's because I'm not from Oklahoma City. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, you guys are dope, man. And like I said, this show right here is really, it is our ministry. Mm -hmm. And that's what you just walked into. Absolutely. Because yeah, because I've, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Man, go ahead. you see that? Just rock right on him and go. You go. I told you about Z. Okay, thank you. Nah. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, because we read, because I always tell everybody, tell your story when you come on this platform, Absolutely. when you're in front of mics, because there's so many people sticking on their phone, because phone is your new TV now, mm -hmm. YouTube is your new television, and they're watching these things, and people don't take advice from people face to face, because nobody want to hear, don't want to be told. Right. But if they can sit in their privacy of their room and hear advice of something that they're personally going through mm -hmm. at this moment in time, you could help so many people with your story. Yes. You know what I mean? Because they can relate. Man. Exactly. That's why Definitely. I said tell your story. Y'all yes. on your social media, y'all talk. Because people love what you're doing, but you're not really telling a story. You're entertaining. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But actually helping people, that's what we should be doing on a daily basis. Man, Kiana. I like that. Renee, thank y'all for coming on the show. Thank you for having Man, us. Man, you know, this is the spotlight. This is a new segment that we put together for people when they're coming into their TikTok fame. And Shout they're doing their thing. Shout out to C4S. Shout out to, what's that boy named? Mr. Hard Mr. Hardhead. Mr. Hardhead that was here. Funny, hilarious. You guys are dope, man. Hilarious. We love, we, love, we love what we're seeing, man, and the world is changing. And you guys are leading us in the right direction, man. Thank Check you. it, man. Hey, man, how can people get a hold of you? Social media. Social media. Um, mother and daughter on TikTok. So mother look daughter into that duo. camera and tell. Okay. On TikTok, mother yes. daughter duo underscore. I'm both here. TikTok. Both. You got <laughs> both cameras. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on TikTok. Mother, mother daughter, daughter duo, duo underscore TX. For that's Texas. Tic yes, for that's TikTok. And for me on my IG, I am under Miss Platinum. That's M Z Miss Platinum underscore one. Man, check it, and man. And your Facebooks? Facebook is, mine is Kiana Nicole, and it's N-E-C-H-O-L-E. K-I-A-N-A. -A. Don't let him fool y'all. <laughs> and that's on Facebook and, and Instagram. IG. Thank My Facebook is Nikisha Renee Singleton. Man, oh, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss's talk. And we out. <laughs>